Capricorn, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you, no particular subject. We're going to take an issue, something we know, something we don't know, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there will be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 10th house, this could be for you. Um, thank you, however you support the channel, very much appreciated. Cross watches you are more than welcome, message may well be for you. All the information, including the website link for private reads, is in the description box. And just hit the more button below. Capricorn. So Pluto has moved back in today or yesterday, depending on where you are. I think he's giving you a boost of confidence. There's, it feels like it's, it's weird because you would assume him moving back in to clear that energy of the past sort of 15 years would have felt a little bit burdensome. I almost feel like there's a weight being lifted from you. Um, I'm kind of getting, well, I'm hearing drops of Jupiter by, um, uh, I don't know, Jupiter has no, nothing to do with uh, Pluto, but I kind of feel like it's talking about not only, you know, the two of pentacles is Jupiter in in, um, in Capricorn. It can go two ways. And I'm hearing the um, um, the quote, oh, who oh by? Uh, I can see it. An Anais, Anais, Neen? Something like that. Somebody correct me on the pronunciation there. But it's life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. And I feel like something has come in, it's just like this, this this weight has lifted and it's like either giving you confidence or courage to to do something. What is it, Capricorn? What are you doing? <laughs> Let's do one more. Capricorn, what's going on? We have the Emperor. That's confidence in its own right. The Emperor is, is power. The Emperor is leadership. It's stepping into courage. It's stepping into... Um, a divine masculine energy, uh, which for you guys, regardless of gender, is a natural opposite of your sign, because you're earth, you're, you're naturally feminine. Earth and water, feminine, fire and air, masculine. So this is for you, I, I almost feel like you're just expanding something here. The emperor is, is structure. It's like, right, I know what I want, and I know how to get it, and I have the potential backing of the Emperor here. Whether this is somebody coming in to help in this matter, I don't know. Whether it's just you taking a more leadership role in terms of what it is that you want. Either way, the the, the Emperor, and I'm seeing it in the After Tarot where, no, not the After Tarot. Is it the After Tarot? No, it's the Before Tarot, where he's stood. He's actually physically stood up, which normally you don't get with the Emperor. But it's like something as, um, Hmm, something's shifted. What do we know? Yes, we do. What don't we know? Nice. Recent past. There's that Jupiter. Okay, so there's definitely something here about that life shrinking or expanding to in, in, in proportion to one's courage. The Emperor's full of courage. What's your advice? Mm -hmm. And potential outcome. Interesting. I knew that was going to come out. I wish I had said something. I just had this weird feeling today that the, the, your outcome is the Three of Pentacles, and it's fantastic in a couple of, couple of reasons. Um, I was I, I, the Three of Pentacles was 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 pulled yesterday for for me. I uh, I had a um, um, a chat with a with a good friend who's a, also a, a psychic. We have the world at the bottom with Saturn, which is your ruler daddy saturn and there was something very interesting in that three of pentacles and it was there was a there was a rune on it that i wasn't familiar with because it was it's part of the the younger futak rather than the elder and when i was diving doing a deep dive research into it it was asking you to not it was corn k-a-u-n and the strict translation to it is like boil or you know like something like a barn, a, a, a carbuncle. Um, but it was something about really not letting the path. I need to, I need to read something. Bear with me two seconds and I'll be able to find exactly what it is.
No, I shall find it on her page of easier. Okay, here we go. Right. Although this rune stands for a wound, we must understand that it is through the suffering of such a wound that we gain new insight. This rune represents just that, the new insight that we gain from um, an illness or wound, but I just kind of feel like it's the past. Um, through suffering and sacrifice, we can learn some of our greatest lessons. The trick is to learn from them instead of letting them eat away at us and control us. Forgiving the past, letting the past go, looking at the past as a, as a reflection of where you are now is critical here because it all adds up. The Emperor, standing in your power. What we're aware of, Three of Swords, it's been pain. There's been a lot of sadness, sorrow, um, you know, it, the, the card speaks for itself. You know, it, it doesn't look pleasant. That's what we're aware of. We know that's happened. What we're not aware of is the gift that comes with this. Recent past is the Wheel of Fortune. Things have spun for you. Something has shifted. Something has changed. Jupiter, these drops of Jupiter, um, you could even call these drops of rain in the Three of Swords, the drops of Jupiter. Life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. Your advice is the hangman. The hangman is looking at something from a different perspective. It's looking at the pain in a very different light. It's looking at the um, energy of everything that's taken place in your life to be, even if it was disastrous, it's placed you who you are right this minute, right this moment, knowing that everything was worth it. Everything is aligning exactly as your soul defined before coming here. I'm going to learn these lessons. You might scream at your soul for that one, but this is something that you've signed up for. And it's something where you're about to be gifted dramatically here. This Ace of Pentacles, what you're not aware of, I feel like is, is what's coming in. It, it feels like a confidence boost. Because interestingly, your advice with the hangman is, I feel like is concentrating on this yellow, the yellow behind the, the head here. The yellow is the solar plexus. The solar plexus is confidence. The solar plexus is courage. The solar plexus is to accept everything that's taken place, the good, the bad, the ugly, and just remolding it in a format that looks very different. Thankful, gratitude, acceptance. Outcome is the three of pentacles. For me, it's just it's pulling all the pieces together. It's Mars in Capricorn. And even though Mars in Capricorn, as, a, as, a, as, a, as if we look at the tarot, it, it's not fantastic. The tower hits the devil. I see this as being a real blessing. Mars is actually, um, it, it's, it's, it's in its element with, with Capricorn energy. It's in its um, dignified. It's, it's power, but power in, power with responsibility rather than power with, um, um, you know, abuse or anything like that. Things are getting moved around. The Three of Pentacles in the Akashic Tarot is chess pieces. Now, chess pieces is the universe doing a lot of work behind the scenes, moving these little pieces here and there. Sometimes it might feel like, what the hell's happening? It's happening for a reason, purpose. And I, I almost feel like everything is just aligning you to, to the right connections. This could be networking. This could be um, something coming in that just requires you to just trust and surrender and go all in. Ultimately, it's gonna to lead to a wish fulfillment. Wheel of Fortune, Pis uh, Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman, Jupiter, Pisces, Jupiter in Pisces is the Nine of Cups. The one thing that's the Nine of Cups is trying to get to you here is, is wedged between this Emperor. So this is that confidence. This is that, you know, I, I know what I want in life now and I'm going to step forward and do it. Fantastic. And look at that, straight after the world, we have the Nine of Cups. <laughs> so, Daddy Saturn is looking after you here. You might not feel it right now, but there's a lot of things that are taking place. You've done the work. You've the, if we look at the, the yin and yang symbol, you know, if this was all white, we wouldn't be able to see anything. If this was all black, we wouldn't be able to see anything. Just white and black. White 
can't stand out without the contrast of black. Black can't stand out without the contrast of white. And for every bit of white, there's a per there's a part of there's that part of light and shadow. With every bit of shadow, there's a part of light. This is really accepting the full nature of everything that you've gone through. Recognizing, like, you know what? I've completed a major cycle here. I'm on the path now to fulfillment in some format. In what format? I don't know. I almost feel like you're getting justice. And the reason why I say justice is because the Three of Swords is Saturn in Libra. The world meets justice. And the world being at the bottom would certainly suggest that. We've pulled seven cards, if you include the bottom of the deck. And one, two, three, four of them are major arcanas. This is a significant shift in your life. This is the acceptance of everything that's taken place and then a realisation that there's a profound, profound opportunity that is coming your way. So all you need to do now is relax. You don't need to force anything right now. The hangman just suggests you've done that necessary sacrifice in that description that I read to you from the uh, that rune of, of, of corn. Um, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I, it, it's an adaptation of Kenaz. Kenaz is fire and torch, um, but this is an original aspect, which is like it's, it's like Pluto and Saturn are lancing the boil now, just to, to get rid of all the toxic energy and prepare this brand new life for you. So we're going to check out the Tower and Mar and uh, and uh, the Devil for this Mars in Capricorn energy. I want to see where the wheel of um, I want to see where the uh, Justice card is. And how interesting, if we look at justice, that would indicate the south node and we've got the north node of the emperor as well. I think everything's aligning. Everything is aligning for you. The devil is with the queen of wands and the hermit. Don't panic if things get cancelled. If there's anything in your life that you've got planned and all of a sudden there's cancellations and stuff like that, don't worry. This is protection. So this could be, you know, you've got a job interview and the strikes on the public transport is protection. This could be somebody cancelling a date is protection. Whatever it is, anything that gets cancelled in your, in terms of your plans is, is actually for the, be the best, the benefit here. So just go with the flow. You know, the hangman is that exactly that, going with the flow and surrendering. Straight after that is justice because you are getting your justice. And how interesting, justice is wedged between the king and the queen of wands. So you could be getting aligned to a strong partnership, um, whether that's business, friendship, or uh, romantic. Who knows? We'll also check out Pluto just because, why not? Played a significant part. The tower is with the sun and the ace of wands. Yes, whatever this is, whatever this movement around these chess pieces is, is ready to bring you this brand new joy and happiness. It's, it's freeing the inner child, it's opening up the solar plexus and the sacral. And the death card is wedged between the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Wands. It's, it's removing any blockages. And how interesting, we've got Jupiter in Capricorn there with the Two of Pentacles straight afterwards with the Star card, with the Ten of Pentacles. Fantastic. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, Capricorn, there is a gift coming, and it's coming for you. The gift, let's have a quick look at the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles being the Ace plus the Three, and it's also the Sun in Capricorn. The sun meets the devil. The gift. What's the gift? <laughs> They're not telling you. <laughs> They're not telling you, but it's going to make you emotionally happy. It's with, with the moon and the queen of cups. So things are looking up. Something is shifting. Confidence is, is, is increasing rapidly. And if it's not, remember that phrase. Life shrinks or expands in proportion to one's courage. And that courage is also confidence as well. It's going after what you want. Okay? Brilliant. In your extended, we will just clarify these and we'll see what we get. 
Um, do, do there's still some elements of control issues here? Every time I see the emperor and the hangman, it does give me a little bit of a, trying to trying to micromanage your life. So you know, do do remember to uh, to relax and surrender. Um, because interestingly, we've got that emperor energy, which is like you know, creating that masculine divine masculine energy, and the hangman is is kind of the opposite of the empress because the hangman is card twelve. We have to break down the hangman to then twelve them becoming the free empress. So there's there's a need to to just let go of control a little bit. Okay, fantastic. Could be seeing a lot of threes. 3, 3, 3, 3, 12, 21, 1, 2, 3, 101. Lots of synchronicities here. Um, so yeah, if you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if it resonates. We have uh, Aries, Saturn and Libra, Sagittarius, Pisces, Mars and Capricorn, Capricorn, Jupiter in Pisces, Mercury in Taurus, Gemini, Mercury in Cancer, Moon in Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Leo, Cancer. We have swords, we have pentacles, we have cups, we have wands. Everyone's here, those are the standouts, let me know, take care, see you soon, bye.